I'm sorry, Okuyama, while I'm doing that. Oh, all better. Umbrella. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, we've got a beautiful Okuyama. And we've got beautiful Danielle. So that's the thing that's happening. I'm a little lost, but it's going to be okay. Um... Oh, oh no, never mind, I know where I am. <laughs> I just found the hotel that uh, we were making jokes about earlier, so it reminds me of my location. Um, I'm just going to hold you like this, so that way you can see what's going on out here in Okayama while I'm talking. Um, Okayama's very nice. The people are very nice. Everything's just so nice. I miss America, I miss my family. But I'm also enjoying this whole uh, cultural adventure. Oh, hey, I can walk this way. So now we're going to check out these bikes. <laughs> See these bikes? There's a lot of bikes here. They have a lot of bikes. Bikes are very popular because it's very expensive to own a car here. So uh, for anybody that did not know that, cars are very expensive here in Japan. And uh, so a lot of people have bikes to um, transport them around without, uh, you know, paying tons and tons of money for a car. So, I'm gonna walk this way. Oh, there's a convention center. I don't know why I need the convention center, but you know, it's there if I need it. Um, oh, here's a fantastic opportunity for me to show you the school I'm training at soon as I walk to it. Oh, here's another cool thing. You see these bumps on the ground? You know what those are for? Those are for blind people. So that people who are blind and walking down the street can actually see where they're going. They have different um, shapes and, and sizes and bumps change when you come to a stop or to an intersection. I'm sure they have these in America somewhere. I hope so anyway. But um, they're not very prevalent. This is really the first time that I've seen them. So it made me really happy because I'm like, oh, they actually like care about, you know, the blind people. <laughs> so, all right, now I'm gonna show you the school I'm training at. You can see the big Eon there. And Amity is a holding of Eon, which I learned today. Um, and Amity is a children's school. So there's a lot of children running around that school. I saw a couple kids get out of uh, their parents' cars before. Um, totally just, you know, all on their own. Big Eon sign. Oh, it's backwards. I'm sorry. Forgot this is an iPhone. But uh, yeah, so that's Eon. That's the school I'm training at. This is the Eon Cebu Hon Hombu. Cebu Hombu, which means it's the Cebu district. Um, Hombu is like the section that we're in. Um, it's kind of like a district of a store. It's like there's like four stores in the district. In this district, there's 25 schools. Um, oh, hey, look. <laughs> there's across the street is a uh, budget construction. Oop, that way. Yeah. So uh, there's a there's another intersection. Everything's just very clean and tidy here. That's the Eon Mall. It's about seven, according to that sign, it's about seven minutes by car. I do not have a car. I have a Danny and Danny walks. So Danny will probably not be going to the Eon Mall. But you know, never rule anything out. So now I am walking back to my um, dorm, which I showed you guys yesterday. And it's very nice. I like it a lot. Um, everything's very, you know, clean and tidy and works out really well. I'm still getting used to the shoes, no shoes inside thing. Um, but I'm sure I'll get used to it, hopefully. Fingers crossed. It sucks that it's like raining because one, I've got an umbrella up and you can't really see anything behind me. But other than that, there's like, you know, cool scenery and stuff. But you can't see any of it because I have an umbrella. So. Um, 
Oh, I can hold it like that. Does that help? I hope you see any of the things behind me. Sorry, I didn't mean to move that fast. It's very nice here. So yeah. Um, things are going well. Like I said, I have the rest of the tonight off, and I'm probably going to spend that sitting on my bed. Honest to God. I'm tired, okay? I had a 20-hour flight to get here. And then I got here and ran, 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 ran. <laughs> so I stayed up to try to combat the jet lag. And I don't really have jet lag because I'm not still on American time. I'm fully on Japanese time. <laughs> but I'm tired because my brain hurts. I'm learning so much new information. And then the fact that I'm in a country and I can't read any of the signs. So I don't know if I'm going the wrong way down a one-way street. But you know what I mean. Not that I need to know that. <laughs> But it's just, it's weird. It's just very, very weird. And I just saw a really cool sign that I'm going to show you now. So, it's backwards, so I'm sorry you can't read it. But it says Casa Bonita, which in Spanish means beautiful house. But I'm in Japan. Also, it's Japan. So I don't understand why, oh, my camera is blurry. Sorry about that. Um, I don't understand why it's in Spanish because they have it in Japanese too, but also in Spanish. So I'm confused, but you know, what else is new? This is my dorm. It's very nice. Um, yeah. So it's been lovely talking to you. And if you guys have any questions, hit me up on the comments or uh, hit me up on Facebook. If there's anything you want to see in particular, let me know. I'll take a video when I go to Okiyama Castle. And um, whenever I go to anything else, cool. Um, yeah, so just let me know if you guys want to see anything in particular. I'll try to show it to you. All right, love you guys lots, and I'll see you soon. Later.